Amen. Uh, my condition is not my conclusion. All right. All right. I need you to look at somebody and, yes. and, and, and testify and say, neighbor, neighbor. My, condition my condition is not my conclusion. Not my conclusion. And I want to back that up with a subtopic, when God changes his mind. All right. Oh, God. All right. Hallelujah. All right. yes, when God changes his mind. As I begin to start my day this morning, I, I, I got on Facebook, amen. Uh, every now and then I like to get on Facebook in the morning and get a little inspiration. And it was there that I saw a post from Dr. Uh, Cindy Trim, amen. Uh, something that she posted this morning was very profound on Facebook uh, that I want to quote on tonight. Uh, and she said this right here, and I quote, she says, the number 13, we're in the year of 2013. Yeah. She says, the number 13 denotes the promise of fulfillment in, in unfavorable circumstances yeah. that give way to the birth of the promise. Wow. Oh, my God. Right, right, right. Let, 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 let me just repeat that quote wow. again. Wow. Dr. Cindy Trim said, the number 13 denotes the promise of fulfillment in unfavorable circumstances. Wow. Now, somebody should have been shouting right there. God bless you. Yes, sir. And somebody should have been shouting right there because this is the season, amen, that God is getting ready to fulfill every promise that he has spoken over your life. The number 13 denounces the promise, amen, the promise of fulfillment in unfavorable circumstances. That means when things are not going well for you, God is going to work in the midst of what's messy and bring you to your promise. The Bible declares that all things work together for good to them that love him and to those and to those and to them that who are called according to his purpose. Uh -huh. And so one of the things we were taught by our bishop is this that amen that if it's still a mess, uh -huh. then it's still working for my good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can't get disturbed by what's going on around you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. But you must tap beyond your emotions. Uh -huh. You must go beyond how feel, amen, and you must create an atmosphere wherever you are of worship and praise and let the devil know, I come to denounce, amen, that this is my season oh, of fulfillment and promise and what God has spoken in my life. It shall come to pass. Come to pass. Yes, yes, yes. She also yes. said, she also stated this. She said that the number 13 signifies what God can do in his sovereignty. Yes, yes. What God can do in his sovereignty, what a human being can do in his or her own strength. We got to understand that God is sovereign. And what that simply means is that God is right. Right. Even when you think he's wrong, right. even when you think he's made a mistake, right. God right. is sovereign. Right. He reigns, right. he rules, yes. he's in control, yes. and he knows what's going on. All right. All right. All right. I heard a preacher say, you know, if God decided uh, 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 to put us in the water and put fish on land, it would still be right because he's sovereign. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Right. I, I need y'all to hear what I'm saying. So whatever God does, watch this, that even sometimes we as believers don't agree with and can't understand, we need to know that God is still sovereign. And when God looks like he's not answering a prayer or a petition that we sent to on somebody, we got to know that God is still sovereign. <laughs> and I am convinced... I am convinced that in this year, a man will be a year of fulfillment and that God is going to do just what he said. Amen. Right. And I come to tell somebody that this is not the time for a pity party. No, it's not. Right. Uh, this no, is not, not the time for self-pity. Right, uh, but this is the time and the 
the season to allow God yep. to fulfill his promise in each and every one of us. I come to tell you that every scheme and every plot that the enemy has set in this season, guess what? It's going to backfire. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? You ought to testify to somebody and tell them, neighbor, every plot 